Welcome. Well, Mr. Metro's out, I had a spare key. So let's come inside and take a revealing look at Mr. Metro's bachelor pad. Ah, the living room of Mr. Metrosexual. This is where he relaxes. Got great art on the wall here that really sets the room off, with the focal point being Mr. Buddha for those private moments. Let's see what's in Mr. Metrosexual's CD collection. Oh my God, it's George Michael. Well, I think that says it all. Here we are in the bedroom, where the romance happens, and why not? Look at this bed. And then he even has the living, breathing greenery. I can't even keep a plant alive, but Mr. Metro has tons of plants. And they're artistic. Let's see what Mr. Metro eats. What? Refrigerator wouldn't be complete without vitamin water. A healthy snack is edamame. He's ready with a fast salad with a little arugula. And to top it all off, you don't have to worry about spending the night at Mr. Metro's house and having coffee the next morning because he stocked his place with Vitasoy. Oh, what do we have here? His organizer. Let's take a little peek. Let's see what he has. Dinner at Postrio. Gallery opening with Raimi. Therapy at noon. And the requisite massage and wax. Don't want any of that unwanted hair. Let's peek inside Mr. Metrosexual's medicine cabinet. Oh my God, it's an infomercial for Kiehl's. And he even has the same facial cream I use. Collagen enhanced. Well, you know he's still a guy who's reading FHM. But what's on the bottom is what I want to know. Metropolitan home. Maybe therein lies the confusion. So thanks for stopping by Mr. Metro's lair. I hope you learned a lot, maybe got a few decorating tips of your own. There's one last thing I wanted to show you. Mr. Metro always keeps a handy pair of scissors on hand in case there's any loose strings or unwanted lint. You gotta look good if you're gonna be a metrosexual. <laughs>